arrive and walking to the bus station in Porto Natales. Having a bit of backpack separation anxiety because it's in the bottom. But the company, the bus company that I'm taking is Bussur. They have a kitty on the bus, so I think I picked the right one. I bought my ticket in advance before I left and the cost was about 12 US dollars. You have to print out your ticket, so print it out before you leave and you can pay via PayPal. Next step is watch the video. The second step is Fueron drogas por incumplimiento de las normas. Por lo tanto, in Patagonia, ha ha, that's so funny. Poor dad, snack shop. And yeah, they, they have beer. Cool, you can buy a Patagonia jacket for 215 US dollars. 2000 for a chocolate bar. And in this place, you can also pay for some Wi Fi. Okay, lovely uh, groundskeeping going on. Refugio, Central, Bar, Gift Shop, blah blah blah. I am going to Camping Theron. Roadwalk. I've hit a cattle guard and the trail will begin. Water crossing. First climb up. Well, I haven't gone very far yet. <laughs> Came from down there. Oh, it's just delightful. <laughs> this part coming up, mm, not as delightful. I'm already off track. I'm like, um, there's lots of different ways you can go, and I chose the wrong way. I'm supposed to go straight up here, not in this weird mess of horse path. Oh well, bonus miles. The landscape continuing onwards. The wind is kicking up. My hat already flew off. Luckily, it didn't go too far. I didn't have to scramble down anything. But uh, I learned my lesson, got it locked down with my buff. Gate and a sign. I'm in the forest. I'm in the forest. A bridge actually no not allowed you can just hop on the rocks to the side mossy tree trunks I know I go to the side <laughs> up and around the fence line and wow linga the mountains almost look blue Hiking, 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 hiking. The bushes look like they would make a comfy seat, kind of like a couch, but ouch, they are prickly. Nice. It's getting windy. My gingerbread head is going to fly off my back. I think I'm going to call him Mr. G. It doesn't even look real. It'd be nice if they put the distances on these signs because, you know, said four hours in the brochure, but I don't know. Washed my apple in the little creek. Last fruit for a week. Whoop that. Ooh boy, this wind is really picking up. Someone went straight through this puddle. Like, they did not care about the water. There, that's pretty baller. A lot of couples. Nice pop of red. 
along the trail. Big river. Keeping my eye out for pumas hiding in the grass. Fields of flowers. I think I'm going to like this hike. This is a quandary. I do not want the wet feet. It's too far for me to jump. Maybe if I go further up that way. Perfecto. The trail provides. Plank it, plank. No bridge stands on the plank. It's forecast to rain this afternoon, so I hope to have the luck to get to camp and set up before that happens. Now the signs have mileage. That is helpful. Milky Blue River from the Glacier Silt. What animal is this? What do you think? What animal? Vroom, vroom. Super close to camp. Yay! <laughs> that was a pretty easy walk. It is close to two o'clock. Welcome to my home for the night. Check in behind this, please. Backpacks and cheese are not, al not allowed inside. Okay. Making my I'm making myself a salami and cheese pita. Weird inflatable green dome. Uh, <laughs> toilet and showers with hot water. Tent city. The orange tents on platforms are tents that are set up before you get here and they come equipped with sleeping pad and sleeping bag so you don't have to carry any camping gear. Otherwise, if you brought your own tent, you can just set it up wherever you want. Most people tuck them in. Between the orange tents for wind shelter. My tent is here, tucked in underneath the tree, out of the, the way of the wind, and nice view. I think everyone's one now. Every person has one one. Rain is coming. This is a bad pitch. <laughs> really, really bad pitch. It's 9.30, still another hour until the sun goes down, but I'm cozy, comfy, and warm in my tent. The wind here is crazy town, but I heard this is the windiest campsite. So if I can survive this one, I'm going to be a okay. I had a great time playing cards with some new friends and a um, pretty chill hiking day for the first day on the Torres del Paine O Circuit. Good night guys.